We either have the pure words of God preserved in a book or we don't. I personally made a choice when I came to the gospel of the grace of God that only poor preachers. I made a choice to study, to read and study and get my information from the book I believe personally, firmly believe, they are the few words of God, and that's the King James Bible. Now, if they are if they are the few words of God, we learn from this book that God is truth. Jesus Christ Himself, He said, "I'm the way, the truth, and the life." And of course, His word must be a word of truth. And searching word of truth in this King James Pure Bible search program, I found out the word of truth is present five times. One time in that period that we define times past in the prophetic program, three times in the period that we define but now, which is the dispensation of grace of God in which we live, and then in the future, ages to come in the book of James. Pretty interesting that three times is this dispensation of God, dispensation of grace, we find the word of truth. So if we find the word of truth and we believe that this is the pure words of God preserved for us, let's go and have a look in Psalm 12. In verse 6 and 7, the words of the Lord are pure words. A silver tried in a furnace of earth purifies seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. So here, the word of God, the King James Bible, defines the words of the Lord as pure words. And there is a promise in verse 7, and I don't think it's by chance that is number 7. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, that's the name of God in the Old Testament. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Hmm. So God has promised to preserve his pure words. We shall purify seven times forever. We have the blessing, the privilege to have those words. And pure words Psalm 12 I just read and every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Wow. You need a shield. I need a shield. Why? Because we live in a present we learn from the same book in the book of Galatians the same book the King James in the letter to the Galatians in chapter 1 verse 4 that Christ gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father so we need a shield from the lies and the deception that are present in this present evil world now if there is a, if we live in a present evil world we find out 
there is a god on purpose or with the low case G. we find out in second corinthians 4 4 something concerning the gospel paul said but if our gospel be hid it is it to them that are lost in whom the god of this world see the god of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of christ who is the image of god should shine unto them so we live in the present evil world and this present evil world has got a god a god with a small g see locate g he has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine, should shine unto them. Yeah, who is this God of this world? Who is this God? Let's see, because people, many people say, I don't believe God exists, and they prove to be fools from what is written in the book in some 14 verse 1 and Psalm 53 verse 1 the fool has said in his heart the fool has said in his heart there is no God they are corrupt they have done abominable works there is none that does good and the same verse you find in Psalm 53 pretty interesting the fool has said in his heart <coughs> sorry there is no God. Corrupt are they, done abominable iniquity. There is none that does good. So people, many people, not everyone, but many people say there is no God. They, they call themselves atheists. And, you know, they're fools. So they don't believe there is God. And automatically, they don't believe there is a devil. Oh, except the devil, like... Uh, fantasy image mythological image that's why you see all the time the devil that depicted you know like uh, somebody funny guy you know with red uh, all red with horns and fork but the devil I just put devil or the devil 44 times and if I put just devil Fifty-nine times. Hmm. And devils. Oh, fifty-five times. And Satan. Fifty-five times. Wow. So. God with a capital G four thousand and seventy seven times. Wow, that's a big number. But as I said before, Satan. 50, 55 times and Lucifer is that Lucifer once Isaiah 14 12 had have fallen from heaven O Lucifer son of the morning how art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations anointed cherub thou art the anointed cherub the covers and I said this was thou was upon the holy mountain of God thou was walk up and down in the midst of the sons of fire let's go at Ezekiel 28 Let's go to Ezekiel 28. Am I going somewhere here? I hope so. (laughs) 
The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man. So it's the Lord talking with Ezekiel. Say unto the prince of Titus, Thus says the Lord God, Because thy heart is lifted up, and thou said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas. Who's going to do this? The Antichrist in the future is going to sit in the temple of God and say, I am God, worship me. Yet thou art a man and not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding thou hast gotten the riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic as thou increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. That's what happens. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because thou set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of, of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Will thou yet say before him that slays thee, I am God? But thou shalt be a man, and no God in the hand of him that slays thee. Thou shalt die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers. Now listen here, for I have spoken it, says the Lord. I don't know about you. I know one thing. When I read this word, I know this is the truth. Because God has spoken it and is written. How many times Christ himself in his earthly ministry said it is written, it is written. It is written. The scriptures cannot be broken. What about Paul? Paul said it is written. And many times he quotes in, on point prophetic passages to validate that this that we are reading and studying and the words that Christ gave to him and he wrote down in, in his 13 letters are the pure words of God. They are the words of Christ. I have spoken it, says the Lord God. People take us lightly this because they have the audacity to print corrupt, perverted Bibles. But of course, we live in a present evil world. Their God is not Christ. It's not God, I tell you now. It's Satan, the devil, who has deceived them. And so they think it's fine because it's fine, you know. <laughs> because every time they change the words, there is a copyright, and so they make money. They after silver and gold, just like they God, Satan. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and send to him, Thus says the Lord God. Now he's going to give you a bit of history about him. Thou hast sealed up the sum, sealed up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Wow. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold. Apologies for my reading, I'm Italian. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was preparing thee in the day that thou was created. All right, guys, it was created, you understand? Until we understand there is only one God, the Father, and one mediator between, between God and man, Jesus Christ, the man who is God himself incarnated, and the Holy Ghost who is God, because these three are one. 
There are three that bear record in heavens. The Father, capital F. The Word, capital W, seven times in the Bible, before incarnation, Christ. The Word of God. And the Holy Ghost, HG, capital, that's the Spirit of God, also Holy Spirit. And these three are one. God, the God that is the Creator. He created and made everything. So if you are following the God of this world, you are following, following a creature. Yeah, there is no hope for you. And God said, Thou art the anointed cherub that covers. And I said this so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou was walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created. So God didn't create him the devil. I heard some people say, oh, God created the devil. So God created the devil, according to them. No, he said, that was perfect in thy ways from the day that was created. He created a perfect anointed cherub. He gave him a, a function, something to do. But this guy decided differently. Till iniquity was found in thee. You get it? By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled, filled the midst of thee with violence. Look at the violence in the world. Where do you think it's coming from? And thou hast sinned. Therefore, I will cast thee as a profane. Sorry. I correct myself because in my reading fast, I had added something. It's not there. I don't want to be accused that changing the word of God. Never. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. And I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of fire, of the stones of fire. So if you're following the devil and you are not believing the true living God, you're following a loser. It might look like that is winning the you know the battle, but not the war. In a world there are many battles, but what counts is the final result. Who wins the war? The Lord does. And those who are with the Lord. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they might behold thee. Thou hast defied thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thy iniquities, by the iniquity of thy traffic. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee, it shall devour thee, and it will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. All they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee, Thou shalt be as a, a yes, thou shalt be a terror, and never shalt thou be any more. You need to know this. God is a God of love and grace. We are in the dispensation of grace, is offering grace to all men and women, Jews and Gentiles alike. We don't deserve it, it's grace. He's offering the free gift of eternal salvation. He's not interested in my religion, in your religion. The devil, he hasn't got any chance. He's going to be thrown in the lake of fire. And like looking back to Lucifer, I want to go to this other scripture here. And I go to Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14, return to index. <sighs> well, the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob is Israel. The Israel of God, not this present so-called 
state of Israel, which is anything but Israel God. They don't believe in Christ. They reject him. They hate him. They think. They believe. He was a false prophet. He doesn't, they don't believe he is resurrected. Of course, they hate Paul because Paul was a Pharisee and, you know, he betrayed the Pharisees to go after this sect. And in the Bible, there is no New Testament. And by the way, yeah, they accept the Catholic Church <laughs> because it's like them and other forms of religion and religiosity. But the Lord has got his people is always a remnant, a little flock. To, you know, in every generation, and that's the one that will reign with him in the ages to come, in the millennium with Christ. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and he will yet choose Israel. Now, Jacob means to plant or Israel, means prince with God, so it's the same. Before this great change where God gave him a new name, and set them, you see, them, so it's what is singular, but that set them, the people. Which people? This, the believer, the believing in Israel, in their own land. He will do it. No 1948, and this thing that the, the evangelical, they've been selling this story of the parable of the fig tree, man. You know, that's terrible, you know. Unfortunately, the so called Christian church is a disaster. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrows and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. Who's this guy? The king of Babylon. Before we see, we saw the king of Tyrus, all these pagan kings, and say, how has the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked, Praise God for that. You know, God is amazing. And the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke. That's what Satan is doing. He that ruled the nations in anger. No, we have the president, you know, the senate, the parliament. <laughs> These are the, the physical people that you look at. You think that they are the politicians that rule you. No. That's why they, they rule you with this, this terrible way that everybody suffers in the world. They are, the strings are pulled from this guy. He who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke, he that ruled the nation in anger is persecuted, none hinders. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou laid down, no fellers come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for, for thee to meet thee at thy coming. You know, another thing. Those who say they believe the word of God, they don't, don't believe certain things which they, they, they don't fit with their own theology. So now there has been a great movement of people that deny hell and the lake of fire because they say a God of love. Love, the, you know, like Hollywood, you know, sloppy, sugar-coated, cannot send people to hell. Hey, God has done everything so that you and I don't go there. His own only begotten Son, the glorious Jesus Christ, He shed His blood on that cross of Calvary. We know now, thanks to the revelation he gave to Paul, to atone for our sins, for our sins. We have received even now the atonement. We who? The body of Christ, the believers. You don't believe that, that Christ for your sins is very, is glorious, the resurrection to give you justification? I'm sorry. Not really. 
you will be in the lake in the lake of fire and those people that don't believe in hell they start to say hey hey paul doesn't mention the word hell paul mentions fiery indignation when the lord jesus comes back we have fiery indignation paul is not <laughs> Paul has got the message of the gospel of grace of God, and of course, it doesn't mention the word hell, but the wrath of God is named over and over and over in his letters. Thank God we are safe from wrath. The body of Christ is not going to meet God in wrath otherwise, really. What, what hope do we have? I don't have any, because I don't have my own righteousness, my works. I come to Christ as an ungodly sinner, enemy of God, dead in trespasses and sins, a child of wrath and disobedient, like everybody else. I hear the word of truth, the gospel of my salvation, how that Christ died for my sins, was buried, rose again, the third day for my justification. Desperate as I am, I believe it. That's what I do. I believe it and receive it by grace through faith. And I'm saved and sealed. Like everybody else. Not my works, the work of God. Not my glory, the glory of God. I cannot glory in myself. I cannot boast in my flesh. I can only boast in the Lord. And I'm very glad to do that because He is the Lord, you know. <laughs> Coming back to hell is present 52, 53 times. I want to be correct. I want to be correct because this is very serious. How many times hell is present? 49 occurrences. You see? 49 times. And lack of fire. Lack of fire, sorry. Wow. Two, three, four. That's why I said 53. I was getting confused. Lack of fire, four times. 49 times, which four anyway. Hell, lack of fire, four times. So people don't believe. Hey, if God says once, lack of fire, once, hell, that's enough because it's God, you know. He cannot lie. Let God be true and every man a liar. But he's so gracious that he, he, he writes so much about it so that you know reading and believing and be careful by believing the Lord and not the qua 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 charlatans vain babblings, including denominational whatever it is. I don't know. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirs up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nation, and they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy bios. He was a musician, you know. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. And now listen to this. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Now, this Lucifer you don't find in the corrupt Bibles. Because Lucifer made really every effort that those corrupt Bibles don't name him. You know the word Lucifer means looks pharaoh, light bearer. How art thou fallen from the heaven from heaven? I need to read properly. I have this problem sometimes because of this, you know. I go too fast and I eat up words. And my wife prepared a nice meal, I should be okay, but. <laughs> How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? For thou said in thy heart, that's where it happens. That's where, uh, where everything happens. I will ascend into heaven. People say, follow your heart. Really? Really? Deceitful. Uh, 
Ah, I think in Jeremiah, the art, <laughs> yeah, my memory, you know, you know, when you old, yeah. When I go there, be patient. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord search the heart. Ah, oh, we all that sure can. They are the deceitful. <laughs> I can't find the verse here at the moment. Above all things, above. Okay, before before I make other mistakes, let me stop here and let's go back. But thou said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. Okay, count. I, one. I will exalt my throne above the, the throne of the stars of God. For thou said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. One, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Two, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. Three, in the sides of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Four, I will be like the most high. So five times, this guy said, I, 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 I. He's got an eye problem. <laughs> the answer of God yet thou shalt be brought down to hell again to the sides of the pit there they see this shall narrowly look upon thee and consider this saying is this the man that made the earth to tremble that this shake kingdoms that made the walls as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof they opened not the house of his prisoners all the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, even one in his own house. But thou cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch. And as the raiment of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword, they go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet. I got to go back to Lake of Fire. Because that's uh, the place where, oh man, this lake of fire. The beast was taken within the false prophet, the wrote miracles before him, we which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. This boat was cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Revelation 20.10 And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are. So they are finally together and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And there is some people, they have the audacity to change the word of God that says it's a temporary condition. Okay, I'm Italian, my English is terrible, my pronunciation is terrible, but I understand forever and ever means forever and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. So how can people, I mean, of course they can, because the devil deceives them. So, it's so the devil made me do it. No, they decide to believe the devil and not to believe or the God. Simple as that. And so at that point they get deceived. And death and hell were cast, cast in the lake of fire, into the lake of fire. This is a second death. And whatsoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. I believe God. You can make your make, make up your mind, did you say? If you believe that the God exists, you are not a fool, at least that you escape from that. But that's not enough. 
You need to believe and receive the gospel of the grace of God. And stop religion. Religion is good for nothing. And God hates religion. He does. But it's in his name. What? The body of Christ is preaching the gospel of Christ. No set of rules or regulation. Try to please God. God is pleased with his own only begotten son. Christ, what he has done. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father in heavenly places. Actually, by faith, we already sit, sit, sit it there because it is, it's written. But the point of the matter is, I started this conversation saying, either God spoke or he didn't. He did. Either what he spoke is written in a book, preserved, infallible, inspired, or it's not. There is. It's the King James Bible. I cannot believe for you. You have to believe for yourself. I cannot, you see, I am here as an ambassador for Christ. I cannot save you. I cannot say, pray with me this prayer. No. No works. No prayer. No confession. Nothing. Simple. More simple than this, I mean. You believe. You are the sinner, Christ the Savior. Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary, not for his own sins. He knew no sin. Hmm. But for the sins of everyone else. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Get there. For he, that's God the Father, has made him, Jesus, to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. I urge you, that's what I can do. You might not like me, okay, fine. The way I read and the way I behave, okay, I know. But God, the Father, May the Son, Jesus, to be seen for us. This us, in this case, is the body of Christ that you already believe. But then, by extension, everyone who knew no sin, the perfect, innocent, glorious, perfect, wonderful, precious Son of God, sinless. He, he, you know, sin, he was born of God. He was born by the power of the Spirit. When you talk about God, you automatically say you are in the supernatural. It's God from heaven. You are a little grasshopper. You are grass. You are dust. Get saved. For he has made him to be seen for us who knew no sin, that we might be made a righteousness of God in him. I'm not calling you to become part of my church. I haven't got any. Opening, send me money. Can you send me money on PayPal or... Love offerings, no, I'm not going to ask you. Tithes, forget it. That's the law. What do you want? Nothing. Me saying, oh, you're such a wonderful man of God. Don't even try. I'm here as an ambassador for Christ. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray in Christ that be reconciled to God. Christ is the right hand of the Father. The body of Christ, and every believer in the body of Christ, every, every saved and sealed by grace believer, is automatically enrolled as an ambassador. Of course, there is talking Paul and Timotheus by the body of Christ. The ambassador has got a message, an ambassadorship. So he says, now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, because he is the right hand of God. Be reconciled to God. Ha! Huh. For he has made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made a righteous and of God in him. When you understand that Christ died for your sins, this is the gospel, First Corinthians 15. 
Or of a brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you believe in vain. For I deliver unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and then he was buried, rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Believe it, receive it, be saved, be sealed, and then understand that the will of God in this, the dispensation of the grace of God, dispensation for times, remember, is dispensing grace, is waiting, is patient, long suffering, how long for only he knows, I have no idea. One thing I can tell you independently if Christ comes to take us, to take his body, heaven, to heavenly places tomorrow, 100 years from now, my life, your life will come to an end. You don't want to go to the hell and, the, and then the lake of fire, please. I don't know what's happening here. Stop believing the lies of the enemy. He's got no power over you the moment you believe this gospel. Because when you believe this gospel, God seals you with the Holy Spirit of promise. And then you have the word, which is the sword of the spirit. So in this spiritual warfare, your defense, you have the shield, the pure words of God, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The devil cannot win. You might fail one million times in your flesh daily, but you're, you're saved, you're sealed, you're forgiven, you accept, you're blessed. Please. That's all. Grace and peace to all. Thank you very much.